Today we do brakes in the adventure truck and change tires as well. He's gonna go buy some front brakes. Here at the parts store, got our stuff, but look what we found. We have a flat tire. It's a slow leak and I have this, so I'm gonna see if I can put some air back in it. Yeah, anyway, since that's uh, motoring away there, I opted for the premium brakes and uh, rotors, so might as well get the good ones. I think it's doing something. We still got, still got some way to go, but we'll be able to drive on it. That's all that counts. It started drizzling a little bit, so I'm gonna go get some coffee and probably a muffin, because I gotta get some tools out, so I kinda have to empty my back seat, and I don't wanna put all my stuff out in the rain. All right, we got some coffee in us. Sun's shining, so let's, uh, let's go do some brakes. Yeah, I also think I'm gonna take this time to switch over to my uh, studded tires. Because I was checking the weather for Jasper, which is where I'm kind of headed next. And it's saying the temperature is going to be pretty much in the negatives. And negative temperatures in the mountains probably mean snow. So I've never actually done the brakes on this truck, but usually disc brakes are all pretty much the same. So that's what I'm, that's what I'm hoping for anyways. First step is to take the tire off. You want to crack all your nuts loose before you lift the car up. Because then the wheel won't spin on you when you're trying to loosen them. So we've cracked all... All the lug nuts loose um, then the next thing you want to do is lift the vehicle up and uh, if you're going to be doing work on it you should use a jack stand and I have one of those so we're going to use it all right so we got the wheel off the ground it can spin freely now give it a nice shake make sure it's not going anywhere it's not going anywhere so good to take the tire off now uh, one of the reasons I like these four-way wrenches is because once the nuts are loose you can kind of you can kind of grab one side of it and you just flick it and it'll spin and it saves a lot of time. Put it on there, give it a good go. So we have new rotors and new pads, which are these guys here. Um, my rotors, there's actually like, there's still lots of metal there, but it is kind of, it is kind of not smooth anymore. And if we put new pads on that, it's just gonna wreck our new pads. So I think we're gonna change over all of it. So the next thing you have to do is remove the caliper, which is, which is this guy here. And you need to be careful you don't damage the brake line, because if, if you wreck your brake line, then your brakes aren't gonna work at all, and you'll die. So to remove the caliper on the back side here, brakes are actually pretty hot, so. Um, we have, what looks like we have one, two different bolts holding it on. So we're gonna take those off. It looks like they're a Allen, Allen bolt. Uh, these definitely haven't been done in a while, so probably gonna be pretty tough. She was pretty seized up, so we gave her a little shot of uh, rust penetrating oil. So uh, we're well on our way now. So we got the brake caliper loose, but it doesn't want to come off the disc. So what I'm doing is I'm gonna compress the uh, compress the piston, which is what puts pressure on the on the disc. So if you compress that with something like a C-clamp or something like that, you should be able to get it off. All right, just like that, we have it loose. Now, you don't want this to hang, so you want to prop it up on something so you don't damage the brake line. So the next things we need to do is um, remove the disc and get our old pads out of the caliper. Actually, my old pads do have lots of brake left, but it looks like they are a little bit damaged, I guess. I guess they were like a low quality brake. Now this is also where you have to watch out because if you've been driving, this will be really hot. I've been sitting long enough, it's only warm now, but it should just come right off. And you wanna try not to bugger up these threads because it's a nightmare when they don't work anymore. So now on to um, the caliper here. These, bra these brake pads, um, I'm not exactly sure how they, they attach on. Some of them just like fall right off. This one looks like it's kind of held on with this thing here. So we're gonna kind of pry it up a little bit. Just like that. All right. So as you can see on this brake pad, we got some damage in here, some damage there. And uh, yeah, the other one's actually, it looks worse. I gotta figure out how to get that one off, so. So this one, it looks like there's like a little spring in the back side. So if we just maybe force that down, she should come out. Oh yeah, just like that. Okay, not too bad. As you can see on this brake here, we got a big chunk missing. You'd get little chunks missing, they'd get stuck in here, and then as you hit the brake, it'll damage the surface of the disc and the brake pad. And you can actually see there are, there are kind of ridges that have been made in the brakes. I'm just gonna 
clean the caliper up a little bit so that I'm not putting nice new brakes on a really dirty caliper. And when you're when you're handling your new brakes, you want to make sure that you're not contacting the braking surfaces with any oil because that'll stop it from working very well. All right, so we've cleaned up our our, our old caliper a little bit. Now we can put our new brakes in the caliper. Just like that, she's in. Just check the backside, make sure it actually went all the way in. Like that. Just like that, magic. Okay, so now we just gotta put the disc back on and then put this on the new disc. Now, what, with, with new brakes like this, this is also why you should definitely buy brake cleaner is they'll typically coat the, the brake in a type of oil just so that it doesn't rust in shipping. So you need to make sure that you clean your brake before you start using your car. Now my hands aren't 100% clean, but we can give this a little little shot of the old brake clean. Now it's on there, we don't have to touch it again. Should, I should mention you want to do the back side of the disc before you put it on, so it's just easier. When, when it's relaxed, this piston will naturally push itself out. What you need to do is take like a C-clamp or, or anything that you can use to squish it and compress that in so that you can snug it right over top. Once you get your caliper back in place, um, you have to make sure it's in the proper place and then you'd screw those two, those two bolts in from the back. She's as good as new. It needs to be in the perfect spot because if it's not, you'll tighten it and it won't be actually threading into the hole. It'll just kind of tension itself up and then when you do hit the brakes it'll fall apart and explode and you'll die in a big fireball. You should also tighten it to a certain spec like with a torque wrench. I have a torque wrench but I don't have an adapter for a Allen key so we're just we're just gonna make it tight. Now when you do get it on it's, an idea, it's a good idea to try spinning it over a couple times just to make sure that it is actually straight because if you can't spin it or it gets stuck, then you know, then you know right away it's it's no bueno. If you have a if you have someone with you too, you could ask them to go try stepping on the brake, and then you can see see if it's compressing properly. Okay, so now we gotta unstrap our winter tires, and we're gonna put those on here. Now a really handy tip for uh, remounting tires, as long as you don't care too much about your pants, is sit with the tire in the middle of your legs like this. And then use your legs to help you lift it so that you're not struggling. Also try to remember to put your center cap on first or else you gotta take all the nuts off and do it again. Okay, there we go. Now you can try tightening them up one at a time a little bit. Like kinda, kinda just tight because you want it to be where, where it needs to be. Once you're confident your tire is where it needs to be, um, you can drop the vehicle back onto the ground. Now, if you have it, this is when you use a torque wrench and you tighten up your lugs in a crisscross pattern so that it's snugged properly. Uh, every, every vehicle's torque's different, so you should probably look it up if you have one, not to over tighten it. And these wrenches are handy because basically, you go until until it clicks. When it clicks, that means it's as tight as it needs to be. I'm gonna repeat the process on this side. I found the real source of my braking troubles. Got the other caliper off here. Um, I don't know. I don't know how this happened. This pad here still has tons of brake left on it. This one here, which I can remove with my hands, there is absolutely no brake left. It's just straight metal. And that's the reason my brakes haven't been working, because there isn't brakes. Um, yeah, I don't know if some shop at some point just didn't change this brake pad, like maybe they broke one or something, so they just left the old one on, so it's worn faster. Um, yeah, I don't know. It's either that or just exploded somehow, but either way, um, we're changing it. Yeah, the, uh, the rotor on here, it's pretty much the consistency of sandpaper now. So, it's no bueno. Okay, so what's happened now is the caliper, the seal here, 
has been compromised a little bit probably from all the excessive heat um, I'm gonna put it back on make sure it it works I think it's gonna be okay as long as this caliper is functional that's that's all I'm hoping for now because I'll have to change it when I get home for sure all right we got the truck back the way we want it um, before I put everything away I'm gonna take a quick quick little putt ski in the parking lot I gotta clean up this mess I've made. Something I, I can show you guys, well, well, those tires are off, is my kitchen. You see, I made this like lovely little drawer here. Pull that out and we got, we got all of our good stuff. We got our stove, pots, pans. All right, we got everything loaded up. Uh, we're gonna go into Canadian Tire and find something to clean our hands properly. Just try this new brand of hand cleaner. I don't know if I can like disclose what brand it is, but like, look at that clean like there's no black left on my hand look at that wow okay now it's time to go we're gonna go for a real drive with hills and see if i catastrophically failed at doing brakes all right we're good we're good but the brakes are a little bit weak and i think that's because that one caliper is all screwed up but i think we'll make it we'll make it home but yeah that's gonna be it for this video if you liked it you know just take a break just take a just take a break actually speaking of taking a break I'm not sure if I'm gonna be able to upload a video in the next coming days because I don't know if I'm gonna have Wi-Fi going through the mountains so if I miss a day or two don't be mad at me please please don't 